Yes, I'm uh, Nick Budar, uh, Director of the Developer Ecosystem for General Motors, and we are working on providing the app framework and the tools and the APIs for developers to create new innovative solutions for our vehicles. Well, we've been in the connectivity business for a very long time with OnStar. We actually started that business 17 years ago, and we've been providing safety and security peace of mind services for our customers, and that includes um, airbag notification, locking, unlocking of doors, um, uh, emergency uh, responses, uh, diagnostics for the vehicle. We've opened up um, some of those capabilities to in more innovative ways in recent years where the car now sends an email to the customer to tell the customer how they're doing. And about five million of our customers now receive those emails um, on a monthly basis. And uh, I know in my household, uh, sometimes I've got to go put some air in the tires as a result <laughs> of those emails. Um, uh, we also uh, provide navigation support services uh, in an auditory way to our customers, and it's, uh, it's, it's a great service. So uh, there have been requests over the years for, you know, how do I extend uh, these capabilities uh, to, uh, you know, mix and mash up with other companies and other services. And we've listened to those, but there was really never an effective way to do it. And, um, you know, as we've uh, burrowed deeper into the technology and the right way to approach it, APIs was the natural way to do it. And uh, it was a big corporate decision, a lot of concerns about uh, security and how to do it right. And, you know, can we uh, support the developer community? Is the ecosystem going to be strong enough for the vehicles? Um, you know, how high a priority is it relative to everything else? Uh, but in the end, we recognized that it was an important pathway for us. And um, a couple of years ago, we made an announcement that we we're going to do it. We've been working very diligently, and we now have an application framework in our vehicles that allows for customers to download apps that are customized for their specific vehicle, and those apps run in the vehicle, and there's some really cool things that are going to be coming down the pipeline there. Uh, and then the second kind is using APIs, where smartphone apps and tablets and other company servers can now interact with the customer's vehicle with customer's consent and providing a valuable service for them. So it's a, it's a very exciting time. GM is a very large company, and we've got a very broad portfolio of products. And uh, in every large company, there's always uh, you know, a pocket that's trying to push the envelope and be innovative. Um, and OnStar was that starting point for the company many years ago. But today, as we look at infotainment systems in vehicles, uh, broader connectivity, we're bringing in 4G LTE um, uh, bandwidth uh, speeds into our vehicles next year. And um, you know, this is not a small bet like we would have done in the past. This is a very large, uh, a large scale implementation to really drive uh, the innovation quotient forward for our customers. And so it, it's, it's strategic. We want to make our vehicles the best vehicles in the marketplace. We want to make our connectivity the most attractive connected set of services for our customers and for other companies who want to leverage that connectivity. Well, I think uh, the connection to other products and services, so we know that our customers um, you know, want their connected lifestyle um, just to work seamlessly. And so, you know, in the old days, we used to draw uh, our vehicle and then the constellation of other things all around it. That's not the right way to think about it. It's the customer that's in the middle, and we are part of the constellation of their connected world. And so, um, I, I want my car and its location and its occupants, uh, I want that knowledge to work for me and my family in a way that's effective. Um, you know, we do a lot of experimentation uh, in our labs, and. One of the things that uh, they were playing around with my vehicle was uh, uh, when I'm within 10 minutes of home, send my wife a text message because she wants me to always give her a call just to let her know when I'm coming home. Um, sometimes I forget, right? So now the car never forgets. <laughs> yeah, it's a great question and it's still a work in progress. Um, and so, you know, we've participated in several hackathons um, over the course of the last year and we've seen what developers uh, can do in that kind of a very uh, intense competition mode. We've also done an internal hackathon to see what our developers would do uh, and what's capable. And they come up with some really interesting ideas. And again, it, it, is, it is that uh, a creative effort that leads us to consider other potential APIs that we should be adding to our, our portfolio. And uh, it's asking, it's, it's causing our own guys to ask, you know, if we approach this project, you know, our traditional way, that might cost this much money, this much time. But if we use those APIs ourselves, uh, we'll do it faster. The APIs are already robust. We, we know they work. Uh, we can leverage that to be much more um, responsive and much more agile within our own development efforts. So uh, we're, it's still a work in progress. Well, uh, you know, Apogee provides us with a great platform to manage and, and deliver our APIs. Um, and 
uh, by the very nature of the vast array of companies that they work with, um, we have an opportunity to interact with those companies, to talk with other thought leaders in this space, and to think, you know, observe how they're leveraging these capabilities in unique ways, and see how does that apply to us. Um, and it's really led us to, uh, you know, think much more, uh, you know, outside the traditional boundaries of our thought processes, uh, to uh, look for new solutions for our customers and for our business-to-business -business partners as well. Well, it's, it's very important, and you know, in the automotive industry. Uh, you know, you know, we build very complicated devices um, that have to last 20 years and not have any issues ever for our customers. Um, and when you look at the the life cycle of most connectivity technologies, uh, a much faster life cycle than a, than a vehicle. And so, you know, we've always faced that challenge with the 17 years we've been in business with OnStar. To how do you bring the right life cycle of the consumer electronic technology into the vehicle? Um, but the platform approach that we take has to be friendly for the developers and the other sort of interfacing companies. Um, and so for our in-vehicle apps, we're using HTML5 and JavaScript and traditional API calls that work within the vehicle. Uh, for our remote um, uh, APIs, we're using, again, the very standard uh, approaches that developers know uh, and love. And so um, we want to abstract the intricacies and complexities of automotive platforms from the way the work gets done. And so you know, the API approach and the platform that Apogee provides for us is, uh, is one very effective way to do that. Get started. Get started. Just, just get started. You know, you know, learn from others, get started, start implementing, and, and go fast.